I start with a preset called Sawtooth from the resources bank, which uh, features a sawtooth sweep. A, saw, a sawtooth is uh, moving into a triangle wave. So um, it sounds like this. And if I tap this envelope uh, jump symbol here, yeah? It brings me to the time envelope. The time envelope controls the the time uh, of the sound. So you see it starts at the top and goes down to zero. The top corresponds to the beginning of the sound and the and the bottom position is the end of the sound. So if I Add a little attack time. You hear that the sound gets uh, reversed. I mean, it starts now at the end, goes to the beginning, and then back to the end. Okay. This is important to understand. If I use a sustain, sustain level, I can use this position as a fixed uh, position. So I'm, uh, now in this situation here, it only plays one single waveform, which is a sawtooth. If I go lower, it plays something in between, and here it would play just the triangle wave. Okay. Now I like to use another resource. Mm, I use the vibes sound, which is an analyzed uh, sound. And again, you see what happens now. Okay. You also can see it if you go into the uh, sign editor. If you use the trace mode, you see the sound runs from the from the from the end to the beginning and back. Now we have five fields here on the morpher. Um, so here it, it uses the vibes sound. Here it uses the electric piano. And here it would use the grand piano. For each of these five fields, we can select uh, another envelope. So for the piano, uh, I, I use another one. I use the extension one envelope. Okay, I go again to the, you see here's the envelope, which is not uh, set up properly. I, Use the init. Okay. Now we have the this envelope here for this e piano. I go back. So now here we have the piano, and here we have the vibes with this uh, soft attack. And in the middle we have something of both. Okay. 
Now if you move in the vertical direction, the frequencies are merged. Here we have the frequencies of the vibes, and here we use the frequency of this resource, which is a very complex um, thing, you see here, that the, the sine tracks um, have different moves. Okay, they go up here and this is a, a synthetic resource. It's not, not an analyzed one. So, you see here the single overtones or the partial waves as we say. So, this is the basic principle of the Morpha. And uh, it depends on the resources you have selected, which uh, effects and, and sounds in the end you get. Here we have a bell. So now I have the, the amplitudes from the electric piano and the frequencies of the bell. Now if we go to the noiser and we move this point away from the middle position, then uh, there's a noise modulate, modulating the sine waves. Uh, I have to, to set the mix a bit up for this. Okay, so in the middle position We have this in the sine waves. If we go here, everything get no gets noise modulated. Okay. And of course, it depends on the position here. That's it for this tutorial.